it's early morning we're on the bank side of the Thames and um, I thought I'd test out the new lens um, at the moment I've got the I've got the old one on this is the uh, 28 to 300 so I'm going to do some shots with the 300 uh, see how they come out and then I'm going to throw the 600 on um, and do a couple of test shots with that I'll do it in this direction which is sort of going eastwards and over there which is going westwards away from the sun uh, there's some birds on the beach and that sort of thing so if I show you sort of what I'm looking at that's the scene at the moment I don't think I can zoom but uh, that is the sort of action we've got going on behind us so yeah uh, let's see what the uh, difference is between the two lenses I've taken a few photos uh, let's have a look at the lens itself okay uh, on the camera this is um, I'm using a D800 which is uh, a Nikon and uh, yeah, as you can see it's rather big this is up against me um, so here is the uh, chamber for setting the zoom on it and it's got quite a big roll so you have to go around that will get you to 350 so it starts on 150 gets you around to 350 and then another twist will get you around to 600 so two turns will get you all the way around and then of course it's fully extended so it's a bit of a beast when it is so that's all the way in of course it's got the lens cap on at the moment um, the uh, shield uh, for the sun um, I noticed straight away that when I plugged it in uh, and started to look through it it's a lot cleaner a lot clearer but then again it's a lot newer so um, I was noticing that difference straight away uh, obviously the long shots are looking good um, I've done a couple of 300 on both lenses so hopefully we'll see the difference between those and do a little report when I get back home I'll speak to you then so here we are back at the flat and I'm in Photoshop so at the moment we're looking at a picture which is uh, taken on the um, 300 millimeter lens um, this is at 18 or 19 percent so I'm going to just zoom in to 100 percent there we go and as you can see the image is pretty good uh, the ISO is 125 so it's a little bit fuzzy but and the light is quite low and I did all of these shots by the way on f8 so that's the 300 millimeter uh, and this is the 600 millimeter um, again it's f8 um, and this is at 19 percent so let's just zoom in to 100 obviously it's going to get closer uh, a little bit more distortion um, around the sides uh, but then again we are zooming in on something that's uh, a lot distant, uh, further away. Uh, this line's quite broken up down here. Um, no chromatic abbreviations, which is good. Uh, let's zoom out. So that's the difference there. So you've got the 600 and the 300, uh, two different lenses. This is the Tamron. This is the Nikon. Um, a couple of skyscrapers this time um, this is the 300 and again um, these are obviously very static images buildings they're not moving at all uh, a little bit I noticed a little bit of um, abbreviation down the side here um, quite purple on this one and that goes right across the top of the building as well of course we can get rid of that 
in Photoshop. It's no no big deal. Um, and this is the photo taken with the Tamaron. And I'll just zoom in on that. And as you can see, there is a touch of red, but it's nothing like what was on the other image. So that's a lot better. Now down here, it's redder, whereas the other one is a bit more mauve. Again, that can be gotten rid of when you're in the editing stage. It's not a big, big problem. Uh, detail, um, I think the detail here is pretty good. Um, oops. Um, as much as be as much as can be expected. Uh, this was taken on a tripod. All of these shots are taken on a tripod, by the way. And so there you go. That's the 600. And this one is the 300 uh, with the different lens. So what I did next was uh, take a picture going sort of looking east down the river, quite a low angle. Uh, as you can see, the sun's just coming up here, so it's it's low light. Uh, and this one was taken on the uh, Nikon lens, and it's uh, taken at 300 millimeters. Um, and I mean, it's a good shot. It's uh, it's nicely lit in all corners. Um, as you can see, there's no problem with vignetting. Uh, and this one was taken uh, with the Tamron and it's a 300 millimeter shot as well. Uh, as you can see there, this one's a lot brighter. Um, obviously they were taken at slightly different times, so you could allow a little bit of light difference, but then I had the uh, shutter set to aperture priority, so um, that shouldn't make a difference. What I'm getting here is, is this one's a lot more yellow. Uh, you can particularly see it on this this bridge, this walkway here. If you look at that and then compare it to that, it's a lot. This is a lot cleaner, a lot whiter. Um, zoom. Let's go right in on this. This is quite blurry. It's not very sharp at all. Could be my camera skills. I think it is. It's not very. Fo it's not focused very well at all. That one. Um, and that is 100%. And as you can see, these uh, structures are not very sharp at all. Come in here. This one is exactly the same. I think what this one's done is is focused on the buildings in the background. These are pretty uh, in focus, whereas this is not. Let's go back to the other one. This is just not focused on anything at all. Uh, it must be something in the, in the river somewhere. Anyway, we're not looking at that. Um, so this has done a good job. Uh, this is at 100%. So you can see the windows and the buildings in the background are looking quite sharp. Trees okay too. Uh, it's just this stuff in the foreground. So what I did next was shoot with the Tamron again, but this is now 600. So this the difference between this, this is a um, with the Tamron and this is 300, this is 600 uh, and again uh, looks like I'm focusing on the buildings in the background. Let's put it at 100%. We're going to go right in now. Yeah, so a little bit of break up but nothing too serious. Uh, the boat's not too bad. Uh, F8, don't forget. So this is going to be quite a set uh, depth of field. Uh, the bridge is looking okay-ish. Again, a little bit of movement there, I would say, on the uh, when I took the shot. Um, I'll do a quick file check for you on this one. Um, so the uh, the shutter speed was 1 13th of a second, so you can understand why there's uh, a little bit of movement there. Um, what I should have done is put the ISO up a little bit. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, this is a picture looking westwards down the river. Um, 
and what I've done with this one is this is the um, the Nikon lens I've taken this at 70 millimeters which is around about what the eye can see um, and as you can see you can see some birds here blah 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 uh, let's have a little zoom in so if you wanted to uh, take a picture at 70 you could actually go to this which is at now at 100% so you can see the birds in a group uh, and uh, you can see the bridges in the background etc bus going over the bridge there this is a little bit out of focus f8 again um, so you get quite a, a large depth of field with that next one's taken again with the Nikon um, and this is 300 millimeters um, as you can see now um, what's happened is because we're at 300 mil uh, the background is blurred so yep you can see the bird although he again is a little bit blurry to be fair that's at 100% now so it fills the frame completely but as you can see from his beak there's a bit of movement there and again I bet the uh, speed of the camera lets it down yeah 15th of a second uh, that needs to be at 125 really anyway we move on the last picture uh, and this was taken with the Tamron uh, as you can see uh, whilst you're looking at that I will get the file information up and tell you that this was taken at 120th of a second uh, so a little bit faster but it looks like this one's a bit sharper um, with one at 600 um, millimeter you can see that the background is quite blurred um, and just about recognizable you can see it's a bridge okay so let's zoom in on this bird this is going to be rather close yeah so you can see we can get very close uh, this is at 100% um, and as you can see it doesn't take much for the background to blur this is only a few rocks away and here we're looking at the bird the reason why it's blurred uh, is because we're at 1 20th of a second and taking the picture on a tripod through a 600 millimeter lens it's going to be a little bit blurry so I'm happy with that overall um, doesn't look too bad at all probably do some other tests out in the field and make sure that I um, uh, put the shutter speed up a little bit the longer the lens the more light it needs hope you've enjoyed our little uh, chat I'm going to turn this video off now uh, leave a like down the bottom if you're interested in more have a look through my collection thank you